That's right, Paramount Plus. You guys have Paramount Plus, right? Oh, she, I got an audible no. All right, thank you. That makes me feel good. I'm validated now. But uh, yeah, good to be here. I'm your last comic of the night. My name is Sherlock Homeless. I'm gonna... It's good to be here in Hyde Park. Everything I'm making, yeah, everything I'm making tonight has already been spent on chili margaritas at Timpano. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I love those, yeah, clap it up for those margaritas. I love that. I love Hyde Park. That's my thing. I come to Hyde Park, I drink three chili margaritas at Timpano, and then I go shop at Lululemon. That's my trick. Because when I'm drunk, that's the only way I can rationalize those prices. Oh yeah, I'm like, oh hell yeah, $80 for a long sleeve t-shirt? If I just wear this for 80 years, it'll be worth it. Yeah, it's, it's tough as a dude wearing Lululemon check. I love, do you guys, you guys secure Woo! enough? To, no, you guys shook your head, not secure enough to wear it. Yeah, it is tough, because I like, it's comfortable. Looks good. People be like, if you're a dude wearing Lululemon, people be like, oh, what is that? And guys are like, oh, this is some fucking, uh, this is like some fucking, <laughs> my, girl, my girlfriend gave this to me, I don't know, some fucking, so like, I don't, that's why the tag is so easy to take off on Lululemon. So people don't know what it is. Lululemon is the clothing you wear when you call the police. That's... <laughs> if the police show up and you're wearing Lululemon, they know you're not the problem. That's basically... <laughs> no, yeah, you have to be a secure dude to wear Lululemon shit. I, I don't go to Starbucks. Because I'm too insecure to tell another human being that I want a grande mocha latte. I just don't, I don't feel okay saying that. I might as well be walking up like, uh, can baby get his little bitch treats, please? Can little pussy boy get his baby treats, please? Please, daddy? So I don't go there anymore. But, uh, Love Hyde Park. I do. I come here a lot. Hyde Park is the furthest away from poor people. You can be in Tampa. This is it. A safe haven. This guy clapped for that. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Got the shaved head too. Proud boy. Fuck yeah, dude. This guy's got a discord. His buddies are laughing. Fuck yeah. You guys look like you're gonna scam old ladies out of something. I don't know why, but you're selling them something. No, you guys are good. You guys look like the reboot of Hangover. You know. You're just... How about this room too? Look at this fucking spot. We have rotating stone background. We have this director's chair. This is pretty nice. And then when I got the sex change, I just knew. Yeah, fucking Hyde Park. Love it. There's the, there's the nice furniture store down the road. I don't know what it's called. It's, it's just too nice to sit on any of the shit inside of it. I, I'm too scared. The nicer furniture is, the less comfortable it is to sit on. You ever notice that? Oh, yeah. My dad has a nice couch. My dad doesn't do fancy right. Anybody know people like that? Like, he has one of these fancy couches but it's surrounded by storage boxes. So I'm like, not exactly Z Gallery, Dad. It's not, it feels like it's made of the green side of the sponge. It just doesn't feel good. Yeah. And uh, I have more I want to say about Hyde Park. Um, we, what do we have? The Pottery Barn Kids? That's down the road, too. Yeah, that's, I don't know. <laughs> If you spend $2,000 on a baby crib, you're going to hell. I don't, there's no better, I don't know how else to tell you. If you spend two grand on a baby crib, I don't ever want to hear you say shit about anything. We gotta save the rainforest. Get rid of your fucking crib. <laughs> and there was one more thing about Hyde Park I wanted to say. I'm cheating. I'm sorry, dude. 
but I need to know what I wanted to say about Hyde Park. Oh yeah. <laughs> meat market. <laughs> I've never been to meat market. And I think it's because I can't find an escort I like enough <laughs> to bring. If you eat at meat market, you buy women's used underwear just to smell it. Oh yeah, everybody in meat market. It's, it's a little too close to the purge in there. I don't know. It's too much. But yeah, you, said, you guys have been cool tonight. This has been a fun time. Oh, you have a box of wine. Fuck yeah, look at you guys. Two boxes of wine. You're on your second one. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, BYOB. That shit is scary at a comedy shop. You bring it up and fuck you on. But this is an interesting group, the three dudes up front. You guys all know each other, I guess, or something. You guys work together or something? We did, yeah. You know? do? Do you mind if I ask what you guys do? Yeah, we're all recruiters. You're all recruiters? Yeah. For what? Uh, for the aerospace and fence companies. For the airspace like, and fence Lockheed companies. Martin. Lockheed Martin. Oh, you oh. motherfucker. Yes. You fucking assholes. <laughs> You're the reason why children are dying in other countries. A hundred percent. A hundred, and they, they're fine with it. They're like, I don't fucking care, whatever. I got a bonus. We got boxes of wine. We don't even care. <laughs> it's what? It's, it's not friends yet. It's not friends. Yeah, it looks like a good one. Hell yeah, you see that shit? Hell yeah. These guys are fucking tonight. Each other. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. You guys look like you pay for webcam models. Because... Oh, you guys are cool. I like you. You guys are married. That's how you met your wives? Nice. Are you married? No. You were married? Oh, where? You said Connecticut. I said Endicate. And what? Endicate. And Endicate? I'm married with a kid. Oh, with a kid? Oh, shit. Where's your wife? She's at home. He's leaving. He's moving. He's moving, so you guys have another thing. Hell yeah. Good. Well, I'm I'm happy you guys came out to this with us. Yeah, leave the wife at home. You come out. I work at Lockheed Martin, bitch. We'll bomb this out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not an ice cream, I like this a lot. Because you never get to do stand-up in Hyde Park. I don't know, there's just never any stand-up in Hyde Park. So it's cool to like perform in Hyde Park. It's, it's cool. Um, yeah, th things are, personally, things are going pretty well for me. I've got some uh, TV opportunities in the pipeline. Uh, I started smoking crack so I could get on intervention. Um, yeah, and uh, somebody told me that show was canceled. So now I'm just addicted to crack. Um, that's a little bit of a bummer. Well, you ever meet sober addicts? Those guys are bummers. They'll be like, oh yeah, I used to drink 20 beers a night, do five lines. And I'm like, I wish I knew you then. Because now you just drink water and look sad. Um, and, and every addict has the same story. Every addict is always like, oh yeah, one night I was doing drugs, and then I did some more drugs, and I ended up in the hospital. And the doctor told me, if I had one more hit, if I had one more sip, I wouldn't have made it. And I always think, wow. So I was this close not to hearing this story. Um, could I got I got a massage the other day. And um, yeah, at the end of the massage, the woman turned to me and she went, Would you like me to? She did this motion. And I was like, We're at a kiosk in the mall. And she's like, I'll put a blanket over you. I'm like, All right, go nuts. <laughs> Are you allowed to masturbate in your car if you live in it? Because I feel like legally you can be like, Your Honor, you know, this is my place of residency. I have nowhere else to go. And they're like, yeah, but did you need to have the top down? I like a nice breeze. Like you were in the Wendy's drive-thru. It's a picture of Wendy. She's hot. We've had a, a couple hurricanes came through town. 
last months before the new year. Um, I like hurricanes in Tampa because I feel like hurricanes are the only time that I get to live my life normally without people judging me. You know, because people be like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Drinking and getting high." And they're like, "Oh, because of the hurricane." And I'm like, yeah, because of the hurricane. <laughs> you can tell how well you're doing in life based on how quickly your power comes back on after a hurricane. Because <laughs> one to two days, doing pretty good. More than that, not so good. I haven't had power now for six years. And it's probably more on me. Not as much the hurricane. But... Remember Ian was supposed to hit Tampa directly. Supposed to hit Tampa directly. And then the day before, it went south. Hit South Florida. And I think that's because everyone knows that God would never hurt Tom Brady. I think that's... I think he's actually here tonight. Don't look, he's alone. Um, yeah. Poor Tom. I know, we have our playoff game Monday, right? Against the Cowboys? I know. We're finally going to find out if scoring a touchdown in the NFL feels better than coming inside of a Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Good for you. You're on board with me. Hell yeah. Yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah, we won the Super Bowl with Tom Brady the first year he came down here. That was pretty exciting. Tom Brady, uh, 45 years old, oldest quarterback to ever win the Super Bowl. Bruce Arians. 68 years old, oldest head coach to ever win the Super Bowl. Yeah, welcome to Grandpa Bay, where, where old guys can make it. The first Super Bowl was won at home. Of course it was at home. If they wander too far, their bracelet rings. Come back, Grandpa. You gotta come back. Okay. Half of you guys are still with me. We're gonna... Elections. Old people influencer contests. <laughs> I love how our whole life is just like, you gotta vote. Voting's the only answer. Voting's all we can do. Voting's the only way to get out. Voting is the only thing we've ever done our whole life. And we're still in shit. Like, even when they give us exactly what we want, just to fuck with us, we still don't vote for it. Andrew Yang said if he's president, Everyone will get $2,000 a month for the rest of their life. And people were like, ah, that's bullshit, that's communism, that's socialism, fuck that. And then they walk down the street to 7-Eleven and they get a scratch off called 2K a month for life. And people are like, I don't trust that it's mathematically sound to get $2,000 a month to people for life. I think I'm gonna trust the math skills of someone named Andrew Yang. <laughs> Remember Stop Asian Hate? Yeah, that lasted about two weeks. I think it's because Asian people don't march. They're fucking working. You know? Fall for these distractions. When you're not working, you're not making money. Money's the only answer. They know you have to keep working. And they likened Stop Asian Hate to Black Lives Matter. But Black Lives Matter was very serious about say their names, George Floyd, say their name, Breonna Taylor. But we didn't do that for Stop Asian Hate. And I was trying to figure out why we didn't do that. And I think it's because they don't trust us to say their names right. <laughs> Can you imagine a reporter on the news? Like, Stop Asian Hate, say their names. Oof. <laughs> Lei Zun Zhu. Lei Zun Zhu. Just stop Asian hate. Let's just stop Asian hate. We got any liberals in here? <laughs> we got any conservatives in here? Uh, I like that all of you are too scared to say anything. That's interesting. We want to stay neutral, man. We want to go to meat market later. We gotta be fucking. We gotta be neutral. I just, I don't know. I don't like the terms liberal and conservative 
because it's too much of a blanket statement. Like, all conservative people aren't conservative about everything, and all liberal people aren't liberal about everything. Like, for example, conservative people are very liberal when it comes to guns and Jesus. Guns and Jesus everywhere. Jesus on the cross, give him a gun. Make the cross out of guns. Let's get prayer in school. Let's get guns in school. Pray to your gun in school. Get gay married to your gun on Christmas. Like, very liberal. And then liberals are conservative when it comes to humor. You make a trans joke, people are picketing outside of Netflix. Like, when it comes to COVID, it's like, trust the experts. Global warming, trust the experts. Dave Chappelle has been doing stand-up for 40 years. Trust the experts, bitch. Like, I think he knows what he's doing. You, cl you guys clapped. Thank you. And then you stopped when you realized nobody else was. But I appreciate you trying for me. No, you guys are my heroes. We got any guns in here? <laughs> Pop them off. Let's see. Uh, I, I think we need guns for self-defense. And people be like, well, why do you need a sniper rifle for self-defense? What if somebody's trying to stab me from 400 yards away? You know? I gotta have my thing. Why do I need a Mac 11 Uzi? Drive-by self-defense. Somebody threw something in my car, I think. I don't know. What? Why do I need a sawed-off shotgun? What if I'm getting attacked by a swarm of bees? You know? Why do I need a an uh, automatic rifle that fires 32 rounds a second? What if I'm getting attacked by 32 people every second? How many people are in here right now? Like four seconds? That's scary to think that I only have four seconds to kill all of you. But that's the world we live in. Thanks, Obama. Okay, this one might work. <laughs> I saw a, a Brinks truck leaving a bank the other day, those armored trucks, you know? And on the side of the truck in big letters it said, driver carries no cash. And, you know, that's supposed to like deter people from robbing the truck, you know? And I like this logic of just telling people like a crime isn't worth it, you know? Like there's nothing in here, don't bother, like don't even try to rob us. Like, with that logic, that's like to cut down on sexual assault. We just give women t-shirts that say, this pussy sucks. <laughs> this clap trap ain't worth the rap. <laughs> I liked it, I don't know. <laughs> Makes me laugh. We got any criminals in here? <laughs> Has anybody been to court for anything? Mm -hmm. I see that. Uh, you guys? You said what? For traffic? Oh, traffic ticket? Yeah. Traffic ticket doesn't really count. Traffic court is like the herpes of crime. Like, I mean, <laughs> big one. You can cure herpes? Oh, you can cure herpes. Yeah. Do you have herpes? <laughs> no. That's why I can lose Okay, gotcha. Anybody here have herpes? <laughs> Let's see how honest we are. Is it really? Statistically, most of you have herpes. But that's, but that's fine. I do recognize most of you from Tinder, by the way. And it's, no, I, I, met my, uh, I met my last girlfriend off one of those apps. Uh, what was it called? Venmo? And it worked out. Um, little controversial take. You can tell how large somebody is based on their selfie height. Oh yeah, skinny people down here. Hi. Just one chin for me. But the larger you get, the higher the angle goes. Oh yeah, I saw one girl's profile picture. It was from Google Earth. 
It's like, is that a chimney? What am I looking at? But, um, I know, I'm not gonna do the law bit because it didn't get anything from you guys, so. I'm, ch I'm making an executive decision to change my act. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, I'm going right back to Timbano after this. <laughs> I'm getting another one. I know. I love drinks that taste like candy. I don't care. I love. It's, <laughs> it's kind of like you're roofing yourself when you get drinks that you can't taste the alcohol. Okay, remember when you guys liked me? <laughs> No, you guys are still with me. Um, yeah, thank you. Hell yeah. Good. Assertive. No, I, I appreciate it when I said the law thing and you guys were still like, fuck yeah, well, we're still with the Lockheed, I know, you sons of a... You guys are, you guys are probably doing well, right? Lockheed? There's always going to be war, right? You ever notice how war crimes are for losers? If Hitler was successful, the Holocaust would have been called the Great Cleanse. <laughs> have you been following the new season of war? War was paused for a while. War was canceled during COVID. But now we're healthy enough to kill each other again. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wild in Ukraine. It's crazy. Uh, but I changed my profile picture to the Ukrainian flag. So it should be over any day now. <laughs> I think that's about as much as we can do. Oh, it's fucked up. I agree. If things keep going the way they're going, I honestly think Putin might get kicked off of Twitter. It's, it's getting serious. I don't know, has anybody tried astral projecting to Putin? Anybody try realigning his chakras? That might work. What you guys think his pineal gland is too calcified to realign his chakras? That's what you're saying, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just going with what you guys are saying. I saw a woman wearing a t-shirt that said, make spaghetti, not war. Never thought of it like that. <laughs> Somebody in Russia, oh, Vladimir, have you thought making just spaghetti? <laughs> What's that? One light, one prayer. One light, one prayer? Oh, is that, a, is that like a, a, a hashtag or something? Yeah, Oh, one like equals one prayer? Yeah. yeah. Prayer works. <laughs> I. I think it's funny that they made Jesus white. <laughs> and like books and movies and shit, you know? The guy's from the Middle East. The guy's Israeli. If there was ever a second coming, people wouldn't even know. <laughs> Just some brown guy in sandals walks up to you on the sidewalk like, Burukata, I don't know, I'm not sure. You get the fuck away from me, homeless man. <laughs> like, Jesus has probably come back 50 times, but he doesn't speak English, so we just keep killing him. And here's the thing. I feel like Jesus died for our sins when there wasn't that much to live for anyway. What I'm trying to say is if he came back, I don't think he'd do it again. We'd be like, Jesus, we need you to die for our sins. He'd be like, fuck that, I got an Apple watch. I'm not dying for you guys. Speaking of Jesus, I think I figured out why the church is against abortion. Because if the baby's dead, the pastor can't fuck it. Hey, they stop doing it, I'll stop talking about it. I didn't make that shit up. And then my second movie. I think Elvis is gonna, I know, she's giving me the light again. I know, we have to leave. 
I think Elvis is gonna win an Oscar. What do you think? You guys like it? Are you guys still here? What happened? I asked about Elvis, you guys shut down. I like Austin Butler. Yeah. My voice is deep forever now. Alright. But there must be a lot. Okay. Last joke. Maybe. This is the last one, I think. Um, anybody here ever kill anybody? What, you guys don't support the troops? I support the troops. Every time I see one, I put money in their cup. I, you know, that's my fault. You know. but, I think, but I think it's messed up that the country doesn't take care of the veterans. We have to take care of them. We start the charities. Wounded Warrior Project, we have bake sales for the troops. Why are we the ones who have to take care of the veterans? Government sent them there, they should take care of them. Like, I think every veteran should be able to go into any strip club and get a free blowjob whenever they want. Whenever they want. And we'll call the program PTS My D. Is that a good time for me to end? Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been awesome. Keep it up for all the other comics you've seen tonight. I love you. Mary Kate Fax, we love her so much. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. You guys are very nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.